Welcome to Mountain to Lake Realty Showcase. I'm Bob Parcell. And I'm Steve Furrow. Happy to see you everyone. Appreciate you watching our show very much. Please bookmark our company website you see on your screen of mountaintolake.com. Happy December. It's, that just, just kind of sets a, the tone for this show, Bob. But uh, we'd love for you to stop by and see us if you're interested in buying or selling property. Office is located at 195 South Main Street there in Rocky Mount, uptown Rocky Mount. We have someone dedicated to being there 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. And if those hours don't work for you, then give us a call. Uh, our number's on your screen. Give us a shout. We'll be glad to come out and visit with you whenever it's convenient. We'll uh, visit with you about buying or selling property. December, is that right, Bob? That's what they say. Man, hard to believe, hard to believe. So December, I mean, we got through Thanksgiving. Now Christmas is here knocking on the door. Everybody's mm -hmm. all excited. If I am a seller of a property, thinking about selling a property, would you recommend me putting my property on the market here in this season, December season? Well, if I had made up my mind I wanted to sell it, the answer is yes. Okay. Um, I think sellers, under, buyers understand that you may have company, you may have a lot going on, but you can't sell something's not for sale, who knows what will happen with the market going forward. So the answer is yes. I think. It might inconvenience you a little, but buyers more than understand that. If your house is on the market, I don't recommend that you take it off or uh, suspend it during the holidays because one thing that surprised me about real estate over the holidays has been that the frequency of showings around Christmas to New Year's. I guess people travel, they visit. While they're in town, they want to kill two birds with one stone, so to speak, and they look at properties while they're here. Um, so there's a lot of traffic. But I, I would leave it out there, or I would put it out there if I wish to sell it, because you, you, know, you just don't know when that buyer is going to come along. And, and let them see it and again, if, even if you're in the middle of, I know you probably make a lot of fruitcake cookies and are busy for days doing that, but just let them come in, they understand that what you're going through, they can overlook that. Well, and, and a lot of folks decorate for Christmas, mm -hmm. and, and that makes, in a way, it, it kind of dresses the house up a little bit, you know, from that standpoint. So um, I'm not standing here advocating that you, you've got to put your house on the market, but I do think if you're thinking about selling, there's I wouldn't wait. Uh, right. If you've made up your mind you wish to sell, then I would have it out there and, and just not worry about the fact that it is the holiday season because people travel and they're more likely to maybe come in December than January. And, and if, if we were to just pull back for a moment, Bob, and talk just specifically about the inventory in around, I mean, we're still at a low, relatively speaking, we are at a low inventory compared to historic levels. Is that fair to say? Without question. And I think the days on the market extending not to more homes on the market, to more days on the market before they sell. Yeah. But but the, the yeah. point is that from a, a historic standpoint, when you talk about selling homes and, and simple supply and demand, when there's not a lot of inventory, not a lot of supply, then you know that that what is supply, there's increased demand on those homes, and so um, mm -hmm. we're in that point right now. And I, I would encourage you, if you're interested in selling your home, do not wait. Reach out to mountaindeleg.com or give us a call. We'll be glad to visit with you about that. Sure. Yeah. So with that being said, Bob, let's jump in and talk about some properties. What do you think? Let's do that. All right, here we go. First property, Grassy Hill Road, 1.5 acres. This property is located there on Grassy Hill. If you're not familiar, I guess from Boone's Mill, you take 220 South and you turn right on Grassy Hill Road. You go approximately 5.2 miles. This home would be on your left. Uh, this home is this property is unique in that it is a property that offers two homes and we'll talk about that this primary home you see here in front of you is four bedrooms two baths has a great spacious family living room hardwood floors eat-in kitchen we'll give you some pictures of all that and then we'll step to the second home which is two bedrooms and one bath a little over 728 total square feet so on to the first one here's the kitchen and the first one, this is, I mentioned, four bedrooms, two full baths, a little over almost 2,500 total square feet here. It does have a full basement. It is a walkout. Oh, excuse me, I said full. It's a partial basement, uh, but it is a walkout basement. 
there. You get a shot here of the dining area here in this home. Here's a couple of shots of the living room. Again, we talked about the nice hardwood flooring here on the entry level. The bedroom. Additional bedroom. I talked about the walkout basement. You do see a chance to see that here. Uh, one and a half acres, so you've got some room here to kind of spread out. The cat and the dog have a place to run and play. Here's that second home I mentioned. It's two bedrooms and one bath. The bathroom has been updated. It's a little over 700 total square feet here with this second home. We're gonna step inside, give you a chance to see the living room. Here's the kitchen area. The dining area here. Bedroom, two bedrooms, one bath. A shot of the bathroom. It is an updated bathroom. You see that tile shower there. Laundry is all here on the entry level. Does have a nice detached two-door garage that you get a chance to see here as well. But this is Grassy Hill Road in Rocky Mount. Give us a call. We'd love to show it to you. If we'll come back to a home on Center Street. Of course, it's pretty much in the middle of Rocky Mount, right off Tanyard. 1,544 square feet. Extensive updates to this home. You see the nice walkway leading into the, the front door. This home shows very well. It's a four bedroom, two bath home. When we step inside, you see the nice refinished hardwood floors in the living room hallway. And three bedrooms. Other updates include interior paint, light fixtures, switches and outlets. Nice, good sized living room. You also have an updated kitchen as well as bathrooms with new cabinets, luxury vinyl flooring and appliances. So what tends to sell homes is kitchens and bathrooms. And again, these have been updated to the new appliances and flooring in the kitchen. Great picture here showing that flooring and the interior paint. Also has a family room with LP hookup for gas logs. Nice picture here showing that updated, one of two updated bathrooms. Again, a four bedroom, two bath home. Has a laundry hookup on both the entry and lower level. And then in addition to the 1544 square feet all on the entry level, the lower level is unfinished and again has additional washer dryer hookup and large utility sink, has a nice deck on the back. Obviously have a convenient location, all the amenities of Rocky Mount. Great place to see the fireworks display, look close to our high school. Nice yard. Again, this is in Center Street in Rocky Mount. Great picture of the front of this home. Some very nice homes on this street. So Bob, we're gonna head out of Franklin County, out of the town of Rocky Mount. We're heading to Henry County. This is Pond Road with a Martinsville address. It's a, an updated three bedroom, two full bath. You do see it has an attached carport here on the entry level. We have a, an attached uh, single car garage underneath as well as a, a detached uh, garage as well. We'll get to some pictures of those in a minute. But you get a chance to see, this sits on five acres, five rel relatively uh, level uh, acres here on Pond Road. Um, if you're not familiar with Pond Road, you'd head to 220 South, uh, 58 West, then you turn right on Preston Road, then left on Pond. And of course here the property would be on your, uh, on your right. But <clears throat> We'll step inside to get a chance to see some of the updates that have gone on here. Uh, got a new roof, Bob, new gutters, new heat pump, new garage doors, new paint, uh, hardwood floors. Uh, got new flooring in the kitchen and the bathroom. I mean, I can go on and on. There's tons and tons of updates here with this property. But you see the nice gleaming hardwood floors here in the living room. We come inside. Here's a shot of the kitchen. Lots of storage there. We'll look at all those cabinets. It's three bedrooms and two full baths. So here's bedroom number one, bathroom number one, bedroom number two, and bedroom number three. Again, hardwood floors. Chance shot to see the family room here. Nice brick 
masonry fireplace. We come around to the back side of the home. I mentioned that attached carport above. You get a shot, shot chance to see the lower uh, garage here underneath, which is always a nice addition. Great place to keep the lawnmower and uh, maybe a kayak or two, because Pond Road, Martinsville, you're not far from Philpot Lake. Mighty Smith River. There you go, great spot. All good and things to take out and enjoy, especially when it gets a little warmer weather. Um, here is that detached garage I talked about. It does have a new roof, new garage door, um, tons and tons of opportunity here. Maybe you got a, uh, a car you're pretty proud of. This would be a great spot to kind of keep it out. Cadillac maybe? I will. Well, that's not big enough to hold your Cadillac, is it? <laughs> It would certainly be a great spot for We can for leave it. the door open and stick half of it in. <laughs> Five acres here on Pond Road with a Martinsville address. We'd love to show it to you. Next we'll come back to Claiborne Avenue. I've been in this home many times. When I was a child growing up in Rocky Mountain, one of my best friends lived in this home. I'm very familiar with it. And even back that long ago, the lower level facing Mary Elizabeth Park was an apartment. This is zoned R2, so it has the potential of at least two units. You might could potentially rezone it or get an exemption to have three apartments, but it is zoned R2, a nice four square brick home with covered porch across the entire front of the home. Again, this is off of Claiborne Avenue in Rocky Mount. It's a four bedroom, three full bath, one half bath home. The entry level has right at 1,200 square feet as you come in the covered front porch. Living room, dining room, kitchen, breakfast area. See the nice wood floors in this picture. It's a built-in china cabinet. Kitchen's on the back of the home. Again, good view of Mary Elizabeth Park. Upstairs is an additional 1,155 square feet. And all kinds of potential is zoned Again, R2. So upstairs there's currently three bedrooms. Entry level has, has one. And the lower level has an apartment. So lots of potential here. The home has been updated. Um, a few years ago when the owners for many, many years sold, they sold it to a contractor who did a lot of work um, to renovate it, put those outside steps on the right. All kinds of potential here for this home on Claiborne Avenue in Rocky Mount. So we talked about home down in Henry County, We've had some in Franklin County, now we're going to Bedford. This is Fairview Church Road in Huddleston, three bedrooms, two full baths, a little over 2,160 square feet with this home. It's, uh, it's one of a kind. You know, here uh, at Fairview Church Road in Huddleston, you're not far from Smith Mountain Lake. You're not far from Smith Mountain Lake State Park. Um, so there's tons of opportunities there to get out and enjoy yourselves. This, uh, this home was actually a, uh, started out as primitive, a Fairview Primitive Baptist Church in the 1900s and then was transformed uh, in the 70s and ran an additional remodel in 2005. We're going to step inside to get a chance to see uh, some of some of the character here with this home. It's uh, roughly 20 feet ceilings here in this home. You get a chance to see some of the, uh, the original uh, timbers that were there back in 1900. Of course you've got a really nice uh, fireplace there uh, to your right. We'll get another shot, a uh, better shot of that. But um, move around just this is a very unique property. Uh, the steps going upstairs to the loft was built out of church pews, which makes it, uh, uh, again, just to me, very unique. A lot, of, a lot of unique character here with this home on Fairview Church Road. Stand around in the great room. Here we are, the dining area, looking back into the great room. The bedroom there to your right, we'll step inside uh, the bedroom there. Uh, this is the bathroom here on the, the entry level. Um, large bathroom, got the shower on your left, a large tub, soaking tub, and then of course your double bowl vanity. It is one level living in that the bathroom, main bedroom, and 
laundry are all on the entry level. Here's bedroom. There's two bedrooms here uh, on the one and a half story addition. This is a story addition, but they actually, uh, the two bedrooms connect there uh, on the back side with the closet. This, of course, is the loft overlooking the great room, which would be a great, uh, a great spot to hang out, enjoy a, a book, or, you know, maybe you could uh, set up the kids and I were talking about, um, yeah, this would be a great spot, maybe do a little wrestling, got that carpet on the floor. Um, I wouldn't suggest, my kids are getting a little bit big for that, but... Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say maybe put that. some mattresses on the wall. <laughs> there you go. Cover the window up with some plywood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on the back side of this home is this really nice deck. It's it's very private. Uh, you've got the two additions stick out on both sides, and then this deck in the middle. It's a great spot to hang out um, and do a little grilling. Catch that fish in Smith Mountain Lake and bring it back and throw it on the old grill or the smoker. Moving around here, just give you a little bit of a shot of some of the outside of the property. It's one acre here on Fairview Church Road. Again, that is a Huddleston address. You do have a storage shed in the back, a place for the lawnmower, uh, yard items, those kind of things. Great spot for that. This is Fairview Church Road in Huddleston. We're going to come back to Rocky Mountain now and talk about Donald Avenue. Four bedrooms, two full baths. Does have a really nice detached two-car garage. A little over 1,300 total square feet here with this property on Donald Avenue. So great location, right in the heart of Rocky Mount. You step inside, get a chance to see the living room. Here's the dining area off the kitchen. There's one shot side of the kitchen and coming around to the other side. Tons of cabinets here in this kitchen. This will be a shot of the bedroom and the bath here on the entry level. This is the bedroom upstairs and the bathroom. Another bedroom. Step outside to get a chance to see the side of the home here. And of course, here's that detached two-car garage that I talked about. Uh, tons and tons of space here to do with, uh, I mean, Keep your boat, your Cadillac, whatever might be interest of you there on Donald Avenue. This is a great spot for it. Give us a call. It sits on 0.5 acres right in the heart of Rocky Mount. Can't ask for a better location. Next we'll travel to this home on Windy Creek Drive. That's with a works address. If you're in Burnt Chimney, head down around 116, roughly two or three miles. Take a right on Landmark, fairly quick right on Poteet. Take a left on Windy Creek, and this home will be towards the end of the road on the right, backing up to Gills Creek. So not only do you have eight acres in an extremely private setting, but again, you have access to the creek itself. This manufactured home was built in 2000, consists of 1,568 square feet, has four bedrooms and two baths. There's new walnut flooring in the kitchen and cherry flooring in the master bedroom. Previous updates include a roof, replacement windows, kitchen cabinets, and flooring. Again, a four bedroom, two bath home. A sunroom on the back that's not part of the 1,568 square feet. Nice yard, plenty of places to, to get outside and enjoy that eight plus acres. Looking up from the home back up towards the driveway towards Windy Creek Drive. Nice storage building there on your left. So, again, if you're looking for a home convenient to Burnt Chimney and Roanoke with some acreage and some creek frontage, we'll be glad to give you more details for this home and works on Windy Creek Drive. Next, we'll travel to Holland Road, which is in Callaway. Some great views for property owners in Callaway. If you were to take the Callaway Road, Take a ride on Bethany, a couple miles, take a ride on Holland Road, and this home would be on your right. Extremely usable two acre lot. There's a concrete driveway leading into a detached two car garage with a breezeway connected to the main house. You step inside the covered front porch into the entry level, which has 864 square feet. It's a rustic home with beams in the ceiling. 
open floor plan over to the kitchen, to a nice size dining area with a bay window. The 864 square feet of the entry level also includes a laundry, bedroom, and full bath so you can enjoy one level living. Upstairs is an additional 590 square feet, two bedrooms and a bath. It's a three bedroom, two bath home. Lots of storage. Good picture of the driveway coming in. Lots of potential for this home. I believe with some updates, my opinion is you have a lot of equity to the home immediately. Because it is a nice location, it is a good sized home. Oversized two car garage. Nice size yard in two acres. So if you're interested in a home in the beautiful section of Callaway, we'll be glad to give you more details for this home on Holland Road. So from Callaway, we're gonna come back to Rocky Mount. This is Circle View Drive. If you're not familiar with Circle View, um, take uh, first Rocky Mount exit there from Roanoke, uh, 220 South, the first Rocky Mount exit, um, right on Franklin Street there, and then right on Diamond Avenue, left on Highland Hills, and then the second left on the Circle View. Right, this is a all one level living, three bedroom, two full baths. It does have public water, public sewer, Chantel cable, which is always nice. Uh, you have uh, three bedrooms, two full baths, so it's a split bedroom, split, excuse me, uh, split bedroom floor plan where you have the master on one end and two bedrooms on the other. We step inside, you get a chance to see the family room. Of course, uh, another shot here. The other side looking at the family room. This is the master bedroom. It does have a master bath. That in as well as a walk-in closet. Bedroom number two, bath number two, and bedroom number three. Laundry, all on one level, so all one level living. Sits on 0.46 acres. This is Circle View Drive in Rocky Mount. Bob, we're going to take the last few minutes of the show and maybe talk about some commercial properties here. Good. So here we are. This is Old Franklin Turnpike, 1.5 acres. And this is a unique opportunity in that uh, not only are we selling the 1.5 acres, but the business that associated with that, which is uh, Smith's Auto Sales, is also a part of this listing. So if you're interested in uh, being in the auto business, it would be a great spot to do that. We can't, uh, you won't find a uh, commercial listing anywhere with much more traffic count than what you'll see here on Old Franklin Turnpike. Uh, roughly about six, a little over 600 feet of frontage on Old Franklin Turnpike. You got a great location. The building has been updated. You got new wiring, a new metal roof, furnace AC, water heater, windows, uh, all that uh, has been recently updated. Step around, uh, you saw the two-door garage Upstairs, we've got a two-door garage underneath that building. Uh, we'll come around, get a chance to show off a little bit of this road frontage that we have here on Old Franklin Turnpike. We step inside the building. We do have an office area here. Uh, it does have a full bath. But before we get to the full bath, you got this office area, front office, and you've got a back office that does have a full kitchen. And of course, the full bath there that I mentioned before. But uh, another shot here kind of leaning towards the other side of the building along that road frontage that we have on Old Franklin Turnpike. So next we'll travel to Circle Drive, a show we featured on last week's show when Steve and I talked about a little bit of the differences between selling commercial and residential properties. Nice brick building built in 1999. Both heat pumps have been replaced, 16 parking spaces. Over 2,800 square feet that's finished. It's on the corner of North Main and Circle Drive, zone GB, as in general business. There's tremendous potential. Previously used as a probation office, but again, zone GB. If that doesn't suit your desire, then potentially could be rezoned. I would hope they would, the town would work with us if you had a different use than GB allowed. But that could certainly be part of an offer. High traffic area. So what you have on this building is all one level living, 2,800 square feet. Again, high, ample parking in the high traffic count on North Main. Has a conference room in the middle, 
then up to 12 offices all on the perimeter, which means they all have a window. It's also a four half baths, also a break room, and a reception area. So very nice property, Circle Drive on North Main Street in Rocky Mount. So we're going to go from Circle Drive there in Rocky Mount and we're going to head to um, Craig Valley Drive. This is in Newcastle, which is in Craig County. Well, but uh, this property here, it features uh, two large buildings. It's 5.16 acres. Two large buildings, tons of possibilities. Uh, the primary building was built in 1990 and contains a little over 6,000 square feet of warehouse space plus an additional 1,000 space of office area. And then the, uh, the second building is 2,400 square feet with multiple roll-up doors and a large mezzanine we'll show you here in a minute. If you're not familiar with where Craig Valley Drive is, um, from the intersection there of Electric Road and 311 in Roanoke, you would head approximately uh, 12 miles north on 311, and this property is on your left. Craig Valley Drive with a Newcastle address, with the great uh, uh, manufacturing warehouse um, property here, uh, commercial listing in Newcastle. So you get a chance to see the back side of this large building, as I mentioned there before, about 7,000 total square feet, but a portion of it is an office, the other is in warehouse and manufacturing space. The entire building is heated and cooled. It's plumbed for an air compressor, uh, served by three-phase electric. We haven't talked much about that, Bob, but that does, you know, from the standpoint of a commercial listing, uh, three-phase electric uh, can make a difference depending on what your uses are. It has two bathrooms and, of course, two garage doors that you see here. One does have uh, dock height, so if you've got property equipment, things coming in um, on a tractor trailer, a great place to get in and out right here. Here's a nice shot of the inside of this larger building. Man, tons of space there. Uh, all kinds of widgets could be built here. Bob, there's those two bathrooms I talked about. Does have an office area? Yeah. 5.16 acres. Here's that second building we discussed. A little over 2,400 multiple roll-up doors. And that's going to do us for Craig Valley Drive in Newcastle. So we're coming back to Rocky Mount for this home. I'm sorry, this property on the corner of Franklin Street and Diamond Avenue. Also has ample parking, at least. 20 parking spots, easy access in and out on the corner of Franklin and Diamond Avenue zone, CBD, Commercial Business District. Been used as a florist shop for years, but as again, zone CBD, there's quite a few uses that would be allowed. Well over 3,500 square feet, all on one floor. Has two walk-in coolers, plenty of storage, a lot of traffic count. There's a rubber roof you see on the right-hand side, it was put in in 2017 and a metal roof on the left. Of course, you have town water and sewer, high-speed internet access available. Building's in good shape, it's a great location, and we can't emphasize parking enough, I think, when we talk about commercial buildings. We said on last week's show, a lot of things come into to play with a commercial property. A lot of times it's not emotion, but numbers, and if you can't get people in your business, then the numbers don't add up to sell them anything. So you do have really good parking here. Be glad to give you more details for this nice building on, again, the corner of Franklin Street and Diamond Avenue. So I kind of think that takes care of this, this week's show, Steve. Thanks for watching, and hope everybody has a great holiday season coming up. Thanks, Bob.